All right, so in the last video, we took a vector v and we were able to find the unit vector of v, which is a negative 1 over 3, 2 over 3, and negative 2 over 3. And so what we're going to do now is we want to find a vector that is in the direction of v that is 15 units long. Now u, u is a unit vector of v, which means whenever you have a unit vector, it's in the same direction as the vector it came from. And not only is it in the same direction as the vector it came from, it's one unit long. When you have uh, a vector and then you have some scalar times a vector, both of these are going to be in the same direction. So the only difference will be that this vector has a magnitude that's k times larger than this vector. And what that tells us then is that we can just take 15 and multiply it by the unit vector to find our new vector that is in the same direction as v and 15 units long. And so what this would look drawn out is you have a vector v, you have a unit vector, and you have a new vector w. And we don't know what the magnitude of v is, so we'll just say that it's the magnitude of v long. And this is one unit long. And we can say that it's the magnitude of v long because the magnitude of v describes how long the vector is. And so what we do to find this vector, all three of these are in the same direction. So to find vector w, we take the... Uh, unit vector v, then we divide by the magnitude, which is written as 1 over the magnitude of v, so that that decreases the length of this by a, va by a factor of v, which gives us the unit vector, and then we multiply that by 15, because we want to expand that out again to the um, length of w. And so when we found our unit vector, we found that um, the magnitude of v equaled 6 because the magnitude of v equaled the square root of 4 plus 16 plus 16, uh, which is the square root of 36, which is 6. And so to find w, what this is going to be is uh, w is equal to uh, the, magnet or the vector v times 1 over 6 times 15. And so if we just simplify that, we get w is equal to 15 over 6 times v, which is 5 halves times v. And so then plugging or substituting v into the equation, we get that w is 5 halves, the vector negative 2, 4, negative 4, which is negative 5, 10, negative 10. So w is a unit, er, not a unit vector, w is a vector that is in the same direction as v, but is 15 units long instead of 6. And so this isn't the exact problem uh, that you saw in the test, um, but it's, it's similar and it should give you um, an idea of where you went wrong um, or what you need to do if you see it again.